party don't stop. Oh, 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 oh. And we are back. <laughs> yes, we're back. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're all having a great day. And as always, before we get started, I got to give a big shout out for that amazing intro to the brave and beautiful one-time winner of the Woman of the Year Award, none other than Brenner. Wait, Brenner, come on. Because it's not Bruce fucking Jenner, it's Caitlyn, and she's a fucking stunning woman. Yes, thank you. That's exactly what I was trying to say. <laughs> All right, anyway, quick video today where we've got some of the funniest memes on the interwebs, some crazy social justice news, and uh, this is where it gets ugly. Some of the most epic TikTok woke fails ever. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. <laughs> you have no idea. All right, so... Uh, this is going to be ugly today, guys. All right, so before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Become a part of the greatest community on the YouTubes. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, and anyway, so what I want to try to... You guys know that I like to start the video sometimes positive. And then I think I'm going to start putting something at the end of the videos per some requests in the comments from some of the greatest people in the greatest community on the YouTubes. So we'll get started on a positive note and finish on a positive note. And everything in between is just going to be com a complete, utter dumpster fire. Not today, however. <laughs> Still working on the end. I'm going to put some stuff of goose, I think, on the end of these videos. But we will start it off on the right foot. And in case you guys, I said goose, in case you guys don't know who goose is, for anyone new that's watching, he's my French bulldog. So <laughs> this is how we're going to start it off with this clip here. Um, this French bulldog looks kind of like Goose, except Goose is about 20 pounds heavier. Goose is a tank. Um, and from what I've heard with French bulldogs, they aren't good in water. You got to put life vests on them because they're so top heavy with their big heads and little legs. They sink right to the bottom. This guy seems to love the water. I think the only thing keeping him... Uh, a float though is the shallow water. I think he's pushing off with his back feet. But watch this. He won't stay out. This poor kid keeps trying to get him out. He won't stay out. complete knucklehead of a dog just like goose <laughs> so stubborn Ugh. all right all right that's a good way to start it now this is where we just right off the cliff and listen it's not these tiktoks are not getting any better in fact they're getting a lot worse so you've been warned you're not going to be able to unsee these things so <laughs> <laughs> Turn back now or forever hold your peace. Roll it. Guess what, fuckers? My patience has run out. Pansexuality is not inherently biphobic. They are both valid sexualities. Both of them. And while, yes, I have seen pansexual people use that label for questionable reasons, they pretty quickly get it once you explain things to them. They do. And not only that, but do you know who likes to use specific or micro labels? Neurodivergent people. Sometimes we just have to do whatever we can to feel safe and comfortable. And using a more specific label can be our outlet for that. If you took all that energy you spend calling people biphobic and saying they're performing bi erasure and just educated them, there would be less biphobia. There would be less bi erasure. Because you've explained it and people will know the difference. I have fucking had it with you guys. Jesus fuck. He's an angry elf. <laughs> wow. I'm not even sure if that was the English language we were listening to. Wow. I, I have no idea what just happened. The person has a tattoo on the neck that says them. 
That's interesting. Wow. Moving right along. Okay, it says white women are the biggest danger to POs. Okay, yeah. All right, this will be interesting. Roll it. <laughs> So pardon, I literally, this is like the first TikTok I saw this morning. Uh, white women, you need to hear this story. I had a friend who felt comfortable enough around me to explain, and I'm very forever grateful because it makes so much sense. She was like, Sierra, when you come to my house and you're the only white person in the room, you are still a threat. Because at any moment, you could decide that you are uncomfortable with anything going on. You could call the police, and all of us would either end up jailed or killed by the police and your fellow white people. She's like, we learn about Emmett Till from our moms who were kids when that happened because a white woman's tears kills people. So as uncomfortable as you ever feel in conversations about race and racism, you are literally a deadly presence and you need to recognize that in order to be an ally. <laughs> That's racism, man. I love to racism, bro. <laughs> I must be the biggest idiot on the planet. I didn't, that lady made just about as much sense to me as the first one or person. I don't know. I don't offend anybody. It, that made just as much sense to me as the first one did. What, what language are they speaking? Move oh, woke. Moving right along. Okay. It says it's called women not birthing person. I told you guys it's only gonna get worse roll it we're inclusive here on my page women are not the only people who give birth what bro what are you talking about man <laughs> um uh moving right along all right this one says i was mad with my kind of homophobic homophobic grandma so i did this to her front yard oh lovely might have to mute this one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, nice. There's a picture. It says they, them, non-binary. Okay. Gender queer. Okay. Holly said, what? Lithromatic? What did? I don't know what half of these words mean. Yeah. Yeah, hey, 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 gender flu. A gender drug. What? Ha! Gay! <laughs> I don't even know what this lithro man. Uh, and I'm sure her grandma isn't kind of home. I'm sure it's just an old school grandma that doesn't understand. All these different words and th all these things that are going on. It's like they just make up words. <laughs> Moving right along. All right, this is in a school. These are kids drawing on a, a chalk or a whiteboard in a school. Mason, can you tell me about what you drew today? This is very interesting. Check this out. Roll it. Can you tell me about what you drew today? It's sad, ugly me. Oh no, you look so cute today though. You're a cat boy today. You're a cat boy today. A cat boy? Mason? Cat boy Mason. I like it. Odin, what's that? Who man? Tank man. So, hands. Are we the baddies? <laughs> no, we're not. That seems mildly inappropriate for a school setting, but what do I know? Moving right along. <laughs> Check this guy out. <laughs> oh boy, this will be interesting. So I'm out sunbathing in the garden yesterday, and I forgot to take my face mask off. I'm really not happy, guys. How am I meant to go to work like this? <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering why if he was out sunbathing in the garden, he had it on in the first place. But, yes, it's his prerogative. Moving right along. 
<laughs> oh, those eyes again. There are those eyes. Be interesting. Roll it. Hey, Trumpsters, could you stop blaming Biden for all Trump's mistakes? Because this virus was Trump f protecting Obamacare. Okay, from it, it, it was broke, dude. They closed the doors, and after the flu, they called. They did. They, they did it because of the flu. Okay, it failed. Obamacare went broke, and Trump is killing your people. Okay, so I'm just telling you right now, people, stop blaming Biden for Trump's mistakes. And uh, as for drugs, well, drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely the poster child to just say no. <laughs> Moving right along. Okay, so next up, we've had this one in a few videos. This is a teacher. Teacher. It's, I think 6th, 7th, and 8th grade middle school teacher. Roll it. So on my video that went viral like two weeks ago where I show my like Ace Pride shoelaces, like over a hundred people have asked what ace is and like that's fine if you don't know you definitely could just google it but also you could watch this video and i'll tell you along with a gender it is the a in lgbtqia plus it means asexual it is a valid sexuality that basically just means someone has low or little or no sexual attraction it is a spectrum like all sexualities Demisexual means that someone experiences sexual attraction to someone after having a relationship with them and becoming close with them. Graysexual means that someone only experiences sexual attraction some of the time or in certain circumstances. Ace people can have any romantic attraction or none. And being asexual doesn't necessarily mean someone is sex repulsed or has never or will never. So... Don't you get wacky on me. What the fuck are we talking about here? Once again, I have no... I, I don't know. Half the words that this person just said, I've never heard of in my life. Am I... Like, am I living under a rock? You guys let me know. Am I, uh, I don't know. You learn something new every day, I guess. Moving right along. All right. This one is was in a video last week. This one uh, was the... Communist. Proud communist with the communist fist. And, uh... Yeah. Do what they have to say this time. Maybe some of you started following me because you think I'm clever or maybe you think I'm hot, but I just need to be clear that I'm also an angry leftist feminist witch. I am a grumpy communist. I am not nice to men, but I do care a lot about humanity. I think you're all fucked in the head. <laughs> Angry leftist communist. Okay. Well, it sums it up. Moving right along. Okay, I think this one's uh, putting in an application to be a bodyguard or someone's security at the Pride Parade or something. Um, I don't know. Roll it. Here's my uh, application to become someone's personal bodyguard for this Pride Month. Uh, I'm not that strong, very noodly, but I have immense amounts of rage, a sword, and a fish beer. I will also eat your father upon request. Call me. Scary gay. Scary gay. Scary gay. Stop! <laughs> yeah. This person nailed it when they said, oh, I'm very noodle. Not that strong and very noodly. Yeah, clearly. But uh, they have immense amounts of rage. Have some fish hook and will eat your fire. Okay. Moving right along. All right. So here's a school registration. It says this is it. I'll read it for you. This is a. Uh, this is on the registration paperwork for a public school in Stanis Stanislaus County, California. It says circled. If you are interested in a gender transition plan, please contact your school's administration. Once again, mildly inappropriate for a school registration paper. Moving right along. All right, this next one, I can't play the whole video. It's a commercial. For Nickel I think it's a commercial, something on Nickelodeon, which is a kid's channel, where you've got the uh, person dressed in drag here, and I can't, I got hit with a copyright strike on uh, the last Nickelodeon thing I tried to do, so it nicks the volume off of that. I'm just going to play a little bit, I'm not even going to play the whole video, but so check this out, this person is singing and dancing, now watch what pops up on the screen here. And we got the, oh, look at that. Hmm.
What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> a lot. Yes, Nickelodeon, a children's network. Moving right along. All right, what do we got here? Michigan Journal of Race and Law, Volume 25, 2020. Man's Best Friend. How dogs have been used to oppress African American. Oh, now dogs are the oppressed. Ah, oh, got it. <laughs> what? Oh, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I told you guys, it's just getting worse and worse. Oh, let's see what we got next. <laughs> so staying with that theme, that absolutely ridiculous theme, this says, this is how racist your air is. If you're white, you're probably breathing cleaner air. <laughs> we don't promise. So <laughs> the dogs in air. <laughs> That's racism, man. I love to racism, bro. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what's next they come up with that as racist. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> okay, guys, this is gonna be the last one. I had a couple more clips and a couple more memes. I I can't take any more. I literally can't take any more of this. <laughs> My brain's cooked. So this will be it. If you made it this far. Thank you guys so much. Give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. I appreciate you guys sticking it out with me. Can't do this alone. I say it all the time, so. <laughs> and I promise I'll have a good one at the end of the videos. Coming up ahead, like I said, I want to get my French Bulldog Goose and some cool video clips that I can play at the end of that'll bring us back to sanity here. All right. Roll it. Hello, I'm asking lately people have been getting annoyed that Blue is annoyed that they're getting repetitive questions. So I came up with a metaphor to hopefully help the situation. Let's say you're in school and in your language arts class, you have a project coming up. For that project, you must write an essay. And the teacher put in Google Classroom the things that you would be graded on. But as soon as you keep asking, hey teacher, is this essay good? Even though it's different people asking something, the teacher is still receiving the same question, and people often get annoyed when they're asked the same thing over and over and over again. My point is, yes, this is an educational account, but there are some things that you could just Google. And if you do have a question for the account, it'd be best to make sure we didn't already make a video on that. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Once again, are they speaking English? All right, so that was it. And I apologize. I had some good clips left. Like I said, I can't take it anymore. All right, so we'll end it off with this... Uh, we got the YouTubes, of course. They're showing their pride for the Pride Month uh, here in the United States. This is San Bruno, California. YouTube Pride 2021. They got the colors. Great. What about YouTube Arabia? Doesn't look like they changed the thing. That's interesting. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for sticking with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, become a part of the greatest community on the YouTubes. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment down below and share this video out. Share this video out. People need to see what's happening in this world. Like I said, my parents, when I show them this stuff, they think it's a movie or a play or something. They don't think it's real life. So share it out. Thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. So I say it every time. The world's gone crazy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Peace.